Hi, I'm Dwayne Henderson with Cree Lighting's training and education team. And today I'm joined by Sean Harris, Senior Product Manager for Outdoor Lighting. And we're here to discuss the launch of our new OSQW wall mount luminaire. All right, Sean, I'm going to start with an obvious question. I think people that follow our products know this is an XSPW. Mm -hmm. This looks pretty similar. Why the name change? Yeah, so you're right, Dwayne. This has historically been known as our XSPW wall pack. And going forward, it's going to be called our OSQW wall pack. And the reason behind that is, is when we recently did the launch of our OSQ area fixture with the new optics, we're taking that same optic, our nano comfort technology, and we're rolling it into this housing. And since these two often go so well together in an area setting, we decided to go ahead and update the name and make it now part of the OSQ family. Now let's talk about some of the differences and probably most notably is the optics. Yeah, so that's one of the key things you'll see when you first take a look between the XSPW and the OSQW is we've transitioned to what we're using our Nano Comfort technology. So this is a platform that we first rolled out in our OSQ area line. Mm -hmm. It's since been rolled out in our roadway fixture. Now it's coming out into the OSQW and it's going to continue to be distributed through new products as we move forward. One of the biggest benefits to this is the ability to better manage glare. And when you think about where a wall pack is, so the applications would be like retail settings, mm -hmm. automotive dealerships, anywhere you've got security lighting needs or industrial lighting needs, you can put this by the doors or above the doors. And what this optic is doing is it's greatly helping reduce the glare or high angle glare. And so if you've got people walking up to a door, walking away from a door, they want to have that, that sense of security with their lighting and not be bothered by it. And that's one of the key things that we're getting with this change in optics. How does that affect efficacy and control? There's a big change in efficacy. The XSPW is going from 138 lumens per watt up to 159 lumens per watt for the OSQW. So well above the DLC requirement. And while we will have DLC, it won't be on the spec sheets at launch, but it will be available shortly thereafter. Okay, I noticed a piece of glass here. What's that about? So the piece of glass does a couple things. One is, uh, as we've mentioned before, it really helps with that high angle glare, helps manages the light as it's coming out and giving you a smooth, even distribution of light in the space. But from a practical standpoint, it also provides the ceiling that we need. And that's where we get our IP66 rating or ingress protection rating of 66. Okay, impact resistant? Yes, this has an IK rating of 09. And then the last thing I notice is that the LEDs look different. Have they changed? Yes, so we are now using mid-power LEDs, and uh, there's a number of benefits that when we go to that. One is uh, we've got more surface area to help us better control the light as we're distributing it, but it also allows us to not have to run the fixtures so hard or push them so hard, and that's where we start to see the increase in efficacy. All right, Sean, let's talk about some other differences. I noticed when looking at the spec sheet, I saw 2700K. That seems new, right? Right. So that's one of the things that we've rolled into this product offering. The market is leaning towards warmer color temperatures. So we've rolled a 2770 uh, CRI version into this. Uh, we all still, also still have our 30K 70 CRI, our 40K 70 CRI, our 50K 90 CRI and our 57K 70 CRI. The other thing we've seen on, on some of the newly launched products is QR codes. Will this disappoint us? No, this will have a QR code. And one of the biggest benefits to that is uh, when you scan the QR code, it gives you the exact SKU. It gives you the build date, which can help if you have a return issue or an RMA. And there's also a full series of instructions on how to process that if the situation would come up. Okay. I also saw something about vibration testing on the spec sheet talk about that? Yeah, so this product is actually built to withstand 3G vibration and uh, often get asked why did we shoot for 3G vibration on a wall pack. We have some customers with applications that need this for things like elevated train stations. Mm -hmm. So if you've got a, a wall or a building that is going to be uh, prone to vibration, you're able to put this up and have it meet 3G vibration. Okay, and I know you've taken a lot of grief over the years on yeah. uh, battery backup. Is that what this is? Yeah, so that's the test button for our battery backup. And very excited to say that the OSQW wall fixture will have an emergency battery backup in it. And one of the nice things about this is it's uh, self-testing as well. So you don't have to come by and do the monthly schedule. Uh, Push the, the button, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's all does it all by itself. Let's talk about controls. I see we still have the ML option, the multi-level option on our spec sheet, but the programmable multi-level option has been removed and replaced by what? Yeah, so the PML is going away and it's being replaced with the BML, which is a Bluetooth multi-level. And one of the biggest benefits to that is while you still get the same range and coverage that you had with the earlier version, you can now control it with an app on your phone and you no longer have to purchase a secondary control. 
And so, can I do things like grouping with those? Yes, uh, with the Bluetooth or the BML, you're able to control up to 16 mixtures. Okay, and I notice we still have the Synapse or 10 volt interface piece. So if somebody wants to pull uh, a wall mounted unit in with mm -hmm. their very lane, that's possible through Synapse as well. Yeah, so it's just another feature that allows you to use controls to help better manage your energy usage at your site. We've talked about the differences. Mm -hmm. There's still a number of things that are, are the same. Uh, let's talk about those. Yeah, so one of the design elements when we first started working on this was we needed to have it stay very similar because in the event you have a knockdown where you need to take down the XSPW and put up the OSQW, we wanted them to look very similar. So the housing stays the same. The mounting stays the same and if you start looking into the internals of the product our lumen packages have stayed the same so we've got a 2000 lumen package a 4000 lumen package 6000 lumen package and an 8000 lumen package and the optics optics have stayed the same as well so we have our type 2 our type 3 and our type 4 all still the same as what we have and is it still built on the other side of that wall? Yes, very proud to say that, that these are designed and developed here in the U.S. and we manufacture them, as Dwayne said, across the wall over here in our racing factory, which uh, comes with a 10-year warranty as well. And that includes the, the Delta Guard finish that's also proprietary to our, our fixtures here in Racine. Time to wrap up. Why mm -hmm. should customers use our OSQW? So that's a great question, Dwayne. And the OSQW is going to be a continuation of the success that we've had with the XSPW, as well as the success that our customers have had with this product in the field. So now you've got a, a new version of a product that looks very similar to what we had before. We've implemented our new nano comfort technology. So now we've got better glare control into the space. Um, we've also got an emergency battery backup, which is key for this application because you've got to be able to provide emergency lighting in the event of a power outage. And you've also got a fixture that using our new optics and using our new mid power LEDs is extremely more efficient. So we're going to be able to meet the DLC requirements, be able to meet the DLC Luna requirements, all while providing a fixture that looks similar to what was there in the space before, but performs so much better. Well, thank you guys for joining us, and thank you, Sean, for teaching us more about the exciting OSQW.